Gentlemen, damage control has arrived. You are looking at the past, present, and future of the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Dominance, thy name is damage control. Um, hey, Michael, would you please shoot? <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of embarrassing things happen to me in my career. That may have been the most embarrassing thing and ever, Saxton. Accompanied by Akira Tazawa, representing the Alpha Academy from Phoenix, Arizona, Maxine Dupree. You know, Alpha Academy may look like a bunch of oddballs, but they're legit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're really an accredited academy. They're highly trained, highly intelligent, and highly competitive. They certainly think so. Is she ready for a competitor like Bailey, who's always in control? She looks like it right now, but we won't know for sure until the bell rings. seem bubbly and even vapid at times when she's a smart competitor with a ton of energy. Not taking her seriously in the ring might be the worst mistake you could make. Dupree has shown us that she is dedicated to improving her skill set and becoming a bigger threat in between the ropes. When Maxine sees an opportunity, she gives it her all. You really do have to respect that. Dupree has a lot to prove, but she's ready to do just that. But you have to imagine Bailey isn't going to let any of that affect her performance here tonight partially because she's just that self-absorbed, but also because she knows exactly what she's doing once that bell rings. A true mastermind with expert level in-ring abilities. Never underestimate Bailey. There's Maxine with a counter. Oh no, she could be caught here. Bad situation for her. We're gonna find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Lariat. Corey, tell me, what does Bailey have to do to assure victory in this match? Well, victory's never assured, Cole. But Bailey's a competitor who knows how to find and really hone in on her opponent's weakness. If she breaks her down tonight, it could be the key to victory. But this opponent still fighting back. She's taking things to ringside. Bailey did her homework there. One. Oh man. in fate right now. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Bailey. What a win for 
Bailey. Here is your winner. Putting a stop Bailey. to all her showing. The ref completed his count, and we have a winner. I think that ref's count might have been a bit fast, but hey, it's his decision. Ah, uh, high fives always make it official. Now let's get this tag team match underway. Is that why you high fived your date, Saxton? Tag team matches are one through teamwork, Graves. I completely agree, Carl. I am a former tag team champion, and these two are clearly on the same page headed into this match. Match is underway, as we just saw. There is somewhat of a strong foundation forming here. When a team is vibing like that, they are able to perform on another level. They seem unstoppable. We got to cover. There's a kick out at one. Too early for that pin attempt. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Big knee to the midsection. They are feeding off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stumps. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. She's pushed into the corner. Right across the chest. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Uh, not the hair. Anything but the hair. Win at any cost. Yeah. Oh, man, what a strike. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. I had that well scouted. She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. Fire making that. This could do it. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Left by the turnbuckles. All oh, rip into the corner. The corner shotgun drop kick. She fights Piper back. 
She scores big with the counter. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, look at this. Dawn with a nice turnaround. Thrown back in under the ropes. Set up in the corner. Enable the counter. And that stops whatever Dawn intended. Oh, my God. Fake first right into the buckle. She's looking for the win. And a strong kick out in one. She is still in this fight. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. And Isla didn't figure out a defense for that maneuver. Chelsea's decision-making certainly looked effective there. This could be a cover for the win! She kicks out with force. She just will not go away. <laughs> Rakes the face to interrupt the offense. And set right into the corner. Using their boot. She manages to get control. Crushing knee strike. Double stop. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. And she heads to the floor to think of her next move. Well, time for some deep breaths. Boss man slam. Yeah. Oh, straight forearm. Incoming! Crash landing! Powerbomb! Tag made, she's in! Tag! Here she comes! Pow! What a shot! Oh! Catapulting down on the opponent! Punching their way out of that one! Strike. And she's stunned in the corner. Inverted tree of woe position now. And a kick. Oh, right to the gut. They are doing whatever for the victory here. She breaks the ref's count. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Solar plexus. So ruthless. Chelsea had that well scouted. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. She's starting to look concerned. That innovative style of Alba paid off. Alba Fire digging deep into the arsenal here. The goalie bomb. Partner tags in. Tearing down. She got the shoulders down. Three, no. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Placed into the corner. Has a full grasp spiked. 
And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. From the top. Saxton, I just hate the way you said it. I was impressed by them on their own, but this win together is even more impressive. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Gunter at a combined weight of 440 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium! Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, <laughs> but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the match sacred. Oh my gosh. He's undefeated. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. The LWO looking to turn up the heat tonight. They're already feeling it, already feeling the energy of the crowd. And their opponents at a combined weight of 365 pounds, Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro, the MWO! Paying homage to the original founding fathers of the LWO, this is a team that represents their Latino culture openly and proudly. They become a family of sorts, Michael. They win together, they lose together, but they always fight together.
Imperium believes that most of the WWE has lost their respect for the ring. They believe it falls to them to return honor to this industry. Sounds noble when you say it like that, but it usually boils down to them annihilating anyone who they think isn't on their level. And for Imperium, that's literally everyone else. True enough, Imperium has an exceptionally high opinion of themselves and aims to prove they're better than the rest by utterly destroying them in the ring. Repping the LWO on the other side of the ring, these guys are already in the zone. Ready to show up, to show out. Ready to show what they're all about. Oh, face stop! Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Look at that counter from Ludwig. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? He can't be acting like this. Fails to connect on the springboard. Oh, and a drop kick. On the mark. Oh, God. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And Ludwig didn't find a defense for that attack. Oh. He's able to fend off the attack. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Big clothesline. Del Toro trying to get under his opponent's skin. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Big boot. Way to steer clear. Big knee in the midsection. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Not finished just yet. Ooh, there's number two. Will the third time be a charm? Del Toro out of harm's way. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Face full of turnbuckle. Oof. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. Out on the apron. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. The back suplex right onto the apron. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. Drop kick on the mark. He's got him down. Is this it? And a shoulder in the air. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Not a clothesline hurt. Holding on for more. In a second. I say the third time the charm. Will that be the case? Full control. Fighting back with a counter. Launched up high. Pop up backbreaker. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Is it enough here? Determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. It's got to hurt. And Vinci gets that set right back to him. He takes control. 
control. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Getting him into the corner. Tag was made. right to the midsection. Cruz is facing a beatdown. Cruz has got to get his wits about him. Look at that counter from Ludwig. Yeah. Quick thinking pays off. This is going to get ugly. Ludwig. and Ludwig Kaiser Imperia! With the precision of an elite military unit, Imperium does what they do best. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. This is ridiculous. From behind and out, beat the hell out of them. You had to know this was coming. These two cannot stand each other. There's always a time and place for everything. This superstar is out of line. Thank goodness for some extra security to separate these two, but the damage has been done, let's be honest. Get them out of here. Get them out of here now. They knew what they were doing. I don't even think this opponent can get into this match. Not at all. I mean, this competitor just got ambushed. This isn't right. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. Certainly a very dramatic start to this contest. Just goes to show how intense this match is going to be. Yeah, clearly this fight has been a long time coming, and now there's no more holding back. Ouch. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, what a kick! Vicious. Uh-oh. Oh, just turn that around. German suplex! Forearm! It looks like Wesley's wings got clipped a bit there. Yeah, Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Needs to find a way out of the triangle. The left hands will do it. He's free. Flying Melana. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Ooh, harsh kick. Shinsuke Nakamura brings to the ring with him a wide arsenal of strikes, but one of them stands above the rest, the Kinshasa. Does Nakamura's legendary knee strike factor into tonight's match? Absolutely. It's the crown jewel of his arsenal. But that said, Shinsuke has a variety of additional punches, kicks, and strikes he can call upon to take control of this match. It's all about picking the right weapon for the situation, and he may not even need the Kinshasa tonight. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. You don't succeed. He's looking a little weary now. Shinsuke orchestrated that attack to perfection. Boom, running STO plants him. Whoa. Nicely done. Yeah. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and then the chest as well. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. 
Picked uh, up. Back drop suplex. Oh. Clearly waiting for that. A oh, running dragon runner. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Why not look like a million bucks when hitting something that effective? They need to be aware of a count out right now. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Shinsuke Nakamura landed one there. Will this be enough? It's still hanging on. That was a long two count there. Oh, stomping away. Showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Ouch. Nice sharp back in. Uh-oh. What is gonna happen here? Look at this handstand. And it can he do it here? And frustration might be starting to set in. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. No. Suicide dive to the outside. Cole does it better. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Powerbomb position. Going down, punches, and counters out. What could West be looking for? Six. Take off. Oh. Look out below. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Wesley is just begging for a fight. He got whipped into that corner. Nakamura gets the counter. Nakamura. It's the inverted power slam. Shinsuke reminding us why he's the one they call the king of strong style. Here we go. Nakamura setting up Kinshasa! Wesley is in serious danger. Makes the cover! Oh, and he got it! Oh, he got it too! This is amazing! a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is close to coming to a head. Boom! Oh, perfect kick. West did his homework. That's a four that'll floor you. Returning to the ring now. Anxious to see what's coming next. Spinning Fisherman Driver. Oh, God, that hurt. Devastating elbow. Wesley is just begging for a fight. Heading up, he's thinking big. He's lining him up. From the top rope, beautiful drop kick. Pulls the ripcord. Knee strike to the face. 
And hard to tell where Wes is still finding these bursts of offense. Nakamura's got to fight through the pain if he wants a chance to stay in this at all. Wes showcasing his strength. Wes is determined right now, looking unfazed. Getting set up for something in the corner. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Got him where he wants him. Up and Going up top. Look out. Oh, Wes with a big time move. Looking for the victory. Amazing. How? How did Shinsuke kick out of that? That was a golden up. Irish rip out of the turnbuckle. Reverse. Walking the rope. Spectacular athleticism. And the clothesline on the money. Nakamura might need to find a reprieve. Nakamura having a tough time here. Wesley setting up in the corner, sizing up his opponent. What are we going to see here? A flip, flip DDT. That right there is the spectacular offense we've come to expect from Wesley. What energy in the arena tonight. Setting up again. And we've got company. I'll let the mind games begin. We know there's no love lost. And even after the match, ready for a little more. Well, I think we need some help here to separate these two, or else they're going to tear each other apart. That's exactly what's going to happen. It is going to pop off. Here we go. Uh, Trading blows back and forth. Stands it finally. We've got some help. Officials desperately and unsuccessfully trying to separate these two. All the cops keep these two apart. Austin Theory is ready for action. And he can go all day. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. Austin Theory. A dominant competitor but terrible at the commentary table. Theory is due. 
But he has the habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? Up to this point, Ricochet has seen plenty of success here in WWE. Won titles with his unbelievable agility. It's like Ricochet found the options menu for life and turned off the gravity option. Yeah, no camera tricks, no hidden wires. Ricochet, he's the real deal. Ready to live in the now. Austin Theory has had quite the career so far. The youngest United States champion of all time. Say what you want about him, but Theory's abilities are nothing. Beautiful takedown into the... Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. Look at that, countering Ricochet. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Oh, the apron! The hardest part of the ring. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. Ricochet has got to be one of the most explosive superstars that's ever stepped into a WWE ring. What do you have to do to make sure you're not in his blast radius, Corey? Just like fire, Ricochet needs air to survive. If his opponent can keep him on the ground, he'll mitigate Ricochet's dangerous aerial offense. He is looking to do some serious harm. He heads outside, countouts legal in this match. The power ball. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Oh, there's some gouging going on. That's unnecessary. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, as Ricochet was trying to prove a point with his offense. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. DDT plants them. He moved, but can he capitalize? And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? A manager grabbing anything from under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. Corkscrew splash! Agility like that? Easier said than done, gentlemen. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Oh, what a counter. Placing them into the corner. Theory nails the clothesline in the corner. Uh-oh. Athleticism for Ricochet. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He deflects it right back. Beautiful takedown into the... Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. Theory is bleeding profusely now. Theory is out of the way. Theory gets fended off. Oh, Ricochet has a recoil. Ricochet just put the exclamation point on this. Right and, it. and a kick out. No one saw that coming. What? How on earth did Theory manage to kick out of that? I cannot believe what we are seeing out of him. 
live tonight. Believe it, Saxton. And somehow this is not over. Ricochet cannot believe that didn't end this. He is looking to do some serious harm. Oh, ouch. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. What the leg? Oh. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Beautiful takedown. Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight him. He's trying to break out and does it. And he gets delivered back into the ring. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. A drop kick from the middle rope. Nicely done. Here's a cover. Could be it. Kicks out. He still has life. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Ricochet is becoming a bloody mess in there. Golly, that sounded rough. Here we go. Time to work out some aggression. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Mike tosses him outside. You have to wonder what plans he has for his opponent here. This is not going to be good. Kick to the midsection. Lifted him up. No, not this way. Avoiding the impact and escaping. There it is. Forget about changing your game. When Ricochet has offense that threatening, stick with what brought you. I don't know how these men keep going. They got to be close to running on empty by now. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. He can end it here. He's got him. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner. Ricochet. A bitter loss for Austin Theory. WWE's real-life superhero on top of things is exactly what you want to see. Right, he truly was the highlight of the night in this one. Um, hey, Michael, would you please shoot? <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of embarrassing things happen to me in my career. That may have been the most embarrassing thing ever, Saxton. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 532 pounds. Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha You know, Alpha Academy may look like a bunch of oddballs, but they're legit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're really an accredited academy. They're highly trained, highly intelligent, and highly competitive. They certainly think so. I bet 
Alpha Academy is thinking that by the end of the night, we'll all be saying thank you. No, no, Saxton, like this. Uh, thank you. Oh, 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 good tip. Thank, Byron. Thank you, you thank you. you. You just flunked out of the Academy. And their opponents, accompanied by Jinder Mahal, at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahan and Sunga Indus Sheer. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. And I'm not speaking for me, but I'm sure someone at our table feels academically stimulated by Alpha Academy's presence. Cole, have some damn respect and follow your syllabus. You are looking at the premier in-ring technicians of our time. Athletic excellence forged into the peak of the pro game. We're about to get a clinic. Corey, I've never told anybody to shoosh in my life, but you're coming close to it. And they are facing the determined team of Indusher. It's clear they will not stop at anything to stand on top of the mountain of the tag team division. Yeah, Saxton, and you will know them by the trail of bodies in their wake. Put it in the corner now. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. him in. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, Mahan caught by surprise. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. And a swinging gut buster. Nasty. Dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Oh, 
Oh, man, he has fired up. Tag made, tandem offense on the horizon here. Set up for a sidewalk slam. Connecting with the elbow drop. Otis in big, big Makes trouble. Is this a no, no, it isn't. He kicked out, he kicked out. That sucked all the air out of this place. It looked like a done deal. Great strength being shown here. had no choice there but to absorb that attack. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. competitive streak of the Alpha Academy really shine through there. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Ooh! Oh! Punch right in the head. One step ahead of Veer there. together double teams and it's about to get worse oh draping double axe handle he's on his heels a bit now this is what the purpose of a tag team is don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers am i being diplomatic enough cole oh across the top rope Uh-oh, ankle pick. 
Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's gonna hurt. Fresh man in. Oh yeah, here we go. Right in the bread basket. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Kicks out. That is just pure instinct at this point. Hooked up and DDT. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. He went right into that turnbuckle. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Vicious right forearm. Vicious down like a savage club right there. And what a reverse. Can't get it over the German suplex. Not done yet. Has not released. Arm still claps around the waist. A second German suplex. Nice. Saga's in deep peril here. Cover. Coming to the rescue. He's tagging out. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Someone hold the roof down, because I think it's coming off the hinges. What an atmosphere. An insane amount of adrenaline must be coursing through these competitors' veins. We got a cover. And he makes the save for his team. He catches Saga with a counter. Into the corner now. He foiled that attempt. In off the tag. Close line. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Quickly applies a side headlock. And look at this superstar. Nice drop toehold. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. And there's the cover. He gets the kick out after the one. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. And the DDT. Kick to the stomach. And he sends him into the corner. Double hip toss. These two do it so well together. Snatched up here. Back and forth from these competitors. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Wobbly in the corner. Reversal. Can he take it? Can he get it? The German suplex not done yet. Has not released. Arm still claps around the waist. A second German suplex. Nice. Gable on the verge here. Shoulders down. Oh! Come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. Playing possum. Shoulders down. Incredible to think, after everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Oh, the face has been planted. Looking to end it here! This could be it! Kicks out after one. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Kick 
to the gut. And, oh, brutal forearm. Oh, I heard a snap. Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. The stomp in every single part of his body. He's been placed in the corner now. Counters! Just hot shot it to the outside. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Fear keeps him at bay. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Just launched. Sangha off balance. There's some real danger staring Sangha in the face here. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And oh! He may get the three count right here. This is it. He keeps his team in the match. Otis in some big trouble. Oh, man. Superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. Who's shooting who now? If I went to the Alpha Academy, I'd be asking for a transfer right about now. Rollins has arrived. The outfits, the outrageousness, there's nobody like Seth freaking Rollins. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth. A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse, and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct 
Another masterpiece. The bruiser of the Brawling Brutes. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Bush! A master of joint manipulation and technical savagery. You know the old saying, Cole, you can't judge a book by its mangy cover. If he wants to be able to walk out of here with a victory, he's got to be able to adapt against Seth Rollins. It is crucial for his survival. And this Butch sure is an interesting character, wouldn't you say? You know, there was a time when Butch was about as methodical a superstar as you'd ever see. But now he's just all aggression. The man is a dog off his leash, and frankly, I fear for your safety and mine. Saxton's I don't necessarily care about. Oh, your graciousness is always inspiring, Corey. Nonetheless, I do have an exit strategy plan, so that's a very good observation. Too bad for them, they have to contend with the visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins. Well, much like Corey here, Seth Rollins really has been believing his own hype the last few years. Truth is, with skills like his, I don't know, maybe he should. Instead, delivers the inverted DDT. Picture perfect drop kick. Had it scouted. He was waiting for him to make his move. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Oh, forearm to the back. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Oh, my! Can he do it here? And shoulders up before a count of one. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face across the top rope. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Seth freaking Rollins loves to get a frenetic pace going, loves to get rolling. Yeah, but I don't know if that's the smartest strategy for the visionary here. We know Rollins knows when to slow things down, to pick his spots. He's definitely learned a thing or two under the wing of Triple H, and he could show that off here tonight. There's a line to the back of the neck. Shoulders are down! Stops the count before it, too. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Impressive reversal on Rollins. A stalemate of counters. Take down. Looking for the cross face. It's cinched in. Looking to free the arm and does just that. The Kimura. Oh, the Kimura. Uh, Kimura lock. Good luck getting out of this. I guess that's... Complete control. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. Seth with an absolutely predatory attack there. And it's a long way down from there. Shifts it back onto him. What started with strong words and healthy locker room competition has snowballed for the win. Two count. Butch gets the win. Here is your winner. A big-time win for Butch here in this one. It's fight night, and the mangy mud of WWE strikes again.
From chosen one to number one. A man who has slain every competitor on his way to reach the mountaintop in WWE. Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania where he became WWE Champion. Oh, the big dog is in the building. This is going to be a war of attrition. Two of the hardest hitting superstars WWE has ever known. And his opponent representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. Oh, Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns have consistently pushed each other to the limit. But tonight, you can see the focus. You can see the intensity in the eyes of Roman Reigns, who is determined to protect his yard here tonight. Roman is well aware that he's going to need every ounce of focus, every bit of intensity that he can possibly muster because Reigns is well aware of the challenge that Drew McIntyre poses. Like a hardened soldier marching to another battle. Roman Reigns has his game face on and he is feeding off the energy of the WWE Universe. He could be fighting his final battle. Who will fall on their sword? Here we have Drew McIntyre, a superstar you could consider a pro's pro. This guy has racked up a ton of time in the ring over his lengthy career. A lengthy and highly decorated career, that is. I chalk that up to Drew's constant growth and evolution. He's bigger, badder, and better today than ever than he even was yesterday. Over the years, one thing has always stayed the same, though. Drew McIntyre is one intimidating... Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Kill a clutch of plot, and he very quickly counters. Ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Setting him up for the flatliner. When you got two Goliaths in the ring like McIntyre and Reigns, you have to think this match will be decided by who wants it more. And the Tribal Chief has shown a willingness to do whatever it takes to win, no matter how ruthless it may be. You might be right, Corey. A particularly brutal plan of attack might be the only way for Reigns to get one over on a steadfast competitor like McIntyre. Here we go. Defiant counter to Reigns. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. The Scottish Warrior staring into his opponent's soul right now. Trying to see what they're made of. Suplex! Really 
challenging the Tribal Chief with that. Yeah, and after that, McIntyre looked like he's been putting in the extra work. Oof, Ow. loving blow to the chest. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Now, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Power slam. from McIntyre. Drew exhibiting all his power and force. Reigns is trying to pick it. Oh, taking it right to it. No way. Compromised position here. Ooh, this could be it. Cover. No, he bites the shoulder before three. Close call. That was almost lights out. He's struggling a bit here. Reigns doing all he can to keep his seat at the head of the table secure. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. Everybody. That's all. That's gotta be it. Two. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. How in the world did he kick out? McIntyre getting set up. Time for the countdown. He's one step ahead there. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Reigns hits it. Drew with cause for concern. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Oh, and he just kicked out. The Scottish warrior refusing to lay down his sword just yet. But you have to think that took a lot out of him. Nap time on the island of relevancy. Byron, I don't think Mackin... And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Reigns had that scouted. Solely focused on... In the corner. to halt the attack. Insulting. Nasty shot, and now the blood is flowing from Roman's face. Reigns and McIntyre have dropped bomb. Arm is trapped. Cross face submission. The arm is trapped in the cross face. There's no escape. Oh, yeah, yes, there is. Fought victory, incredibly physical matchup, but earned the right to celebrate here tonight. Wait, this is more fun than celebration. Oh, this from behind. More fun. This is classless. Oh, steel steps. Come on.
Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our Tag Team Championship match. And this is the one I've been waiting for all day, Cole. What these teams can do inside that ring never ceases to amaze me. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos. Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Just look at the Judgment Day, powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 501 pounds. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. And their opponents at a combined weight of 439 pounds. The NXT Tag Team Champions and the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. So that's what it's all about, the Tag Team Titles. The Judgment Day has turned themselves into one of the most formidable groups in all of WWE. Cutthroat tactics, rule bending, backstage ambushes, they'll do whatever it takes to win. I respect Judgment Day's approach to competition. Why play by the rules and wait your turn when you can just go take what you want? If you don't like it, then stay out of their way. Staying out of Judgment Day's business might be easier said than done. They're always looking for their next target to annihilate. And we're here to Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And, and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bred. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, Sokoa holding him at bay. Uh-oh. 
Oh, wow. I can't believe the ropes held up. We're lucky they didn't just snap. Oh, that hurt. Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Seems like the champion isn't worried about bending the rules a bit here. Cutting off the offense with a nasty chop block. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh! That's a free fall! Oh, look at the torch of their opponent! Uh-oh, this isn't gonna be good! Oh, man! He got whipped into that corner. Gets him in position. This is not... Uh-oh, from the top rope! Snap there from the top rope! Tag is made. What's gonna happen here? Boom! Off the boom! Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Crushing the knee there. Going for a pin for the championship. And he kicks out at two. He thought he had it. Jimmy gets intercepted. And misses on the springboard. Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is safe for her client. Gotta hurt. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Gotta be agonizing for the arm. The champion hoping to take the arm out of commission. Using the forearm to their advantage. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Oh, striking blow. There it is, the sling blade. Overhead kick finds the mark. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, Finn tipped those scales in his favor with that attack. Double stomp to the legs. Oh, he knew what was coming. And he's out of there in a nick of time. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, and his aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Doing whatever it takes. Going to any lengths to protect the title. If that means bending the rules slightly, then so be it. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Effective arm drag. Sokoa just unable to stop this attack. Sokoa needs to better assess the situation to turn this around. Sets him up. And that definitely made solid impact. Gonna see a new Mess champ. Cover. And that kick out from the champion. What a match. Hung out to dry.
break that up. Damian Priest would like to be your guy. Seven of heaven choke slam. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Kick out, still has hope. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? A bad place to be for the challenger. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. That turns it around for Solo. Ooh! Priest gets countered. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Comes in off the tag. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Lands the elbow. For the win to retain the championship. Got him. And the tag titles stay put. Here are your winners. And still, the NXT Tag Team Champions. Ben Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. Finn Balor puts the finishing touches on this one for the win. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see.